What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video, by popular request, we're going to do the tactical hacking pin tester field bag, okay? <clears throat> so everything in this bag is what you would take, um, you know, and it's gonna vary by, by person by person, but a lot of the stuff in here, uh, you can see is gonna be stuff that is used um, on a lot of different jobs, okay? So, we're gonna go through this bag, we're gonna lay out all the gear uh, that is in here, kinda go over it real quick, and then you can definitely check the show notes, I'll have links for just about everything in here that I, that I can put in here, some of it, yeah, you might not be able to put links to it because I don't even know where I got it or something like that. But uh, So let's go ahead and dive into this tactical bag. This is the field kit bag. Now, this does not house my laptop, my tablet, some of the other stuff that I carry that's bigger. This is the, the tactical field kit bag that I carry along with my backpack. Um, and this, this guy goes with me on different jobs. So anyway... Let's go ahead, we'll just start with the simple side here. Let's go ahead and un unhook this. And then pull out the mug. So you're going to want coffee or something strong. Keep you awake. <clears throat> Mighty mug. Doesn't spill. That. That's the best damn cup you can kind of take with you on different jobs, especially tech stuff. Because if you spill this, which I don't think you can, I mean, even if you kind of drop it, it still just kind of falls flat. But uh, definitely, a, and I'm hitting it pretty hard here, guys. So anyway, great mug to have. Reduce your spills, any kind of damage you're going to do. Let's get that out of the way. You can also put a monster drink, Red Bull, whatever the hell you want to put in here. Water, um, beer, alcohol, whatever you need for that particular day, night, morning, whatever. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and let's just open this flap here. I don't know. Oh yeah, I got some crap in here. All right Let's just let's come back to that So this isn't super organized, so we're gonna see it uh, as it unfolds All right, yeah, this is a messy kit Okay, but you know what? It's not all about style points and stuff uh, This here is a rugged um, Cable it's like a three-in-one Pretty much everything you need. You got uh, Type C Lightning, and then a micro USB Type A. Uh, very rugged field kit cable, and you can t put this through the through the ringer because this is like tactical nylon. It's really really good stuff. Uh, if that one doesn't cut it, I also have this one here from Chiffon that's got even older stuff. Sometimes you come across a lot of older gear, uh, so you can even go back to like. Uh, the mini USB, not the micro. So you got a lot of different things in this one. Uh, and sometimes you need multiple devices connected for whatever you're doing. So this is a great little uh, cable kit for that. Um, this is just a uh, USB 3.0 uh, cable for a portable SSD drive that I carry. Uh, oh yeah, this guy here. So sometimes you need a little range. Um, so this is a actual uh, antenna base, so you would actually take this little lid off of it, uh, plug in an antenna, and sometimes you got to go big or go home. And this is an antenna that I keep in my actual backpack. Yeah, look how long that is. Uh, this really has some range to it, okay? So this is what you'd plug into this guy, and uh, as you can see here, you can emit a tower that uh, has quite a long range of antenna built into it there. I don't wonder what the gain or the range is on that guy, but uh, definitely something to use. Uh, I have a TP-Link high gain um, USB. This is a Wi-Fi dongle. Now this one's pretty cool because of the chipset that's in this guy. Uh, you can actually use this to capture uh, Wi-Fi signals um, just that are in the air. Okay, um, just, you know, you don't have to be connected. You're just gathering stuff that's passing on the Wi-Fi. Uh, very cool little guy uh, to use. Here's a little more mid-range antenna. And you'll see what the antennas are for here as we delve in. Just a standard micro USB data cable. And that's it. Hitting that uh, 
that uh, pocket. So we're making some headway here. A lot of garbage though, right? All right, so let's delve into the main pocket here. Um, got a, a little book here. The Wi-Fi pineapple. Yeah, that's what these antennas are for. Um, so this is a little Brett refresher manual on some of the functionality of it. Uh, I've got the Red Team field manual. And if you're not familiar with what the Red Team field manual is or what a Red Team even is, you should go look it up because uh, it's actually... Uh, this is just a bunch of quick reference stuff that comes in super, super handy. You can see there's some like Metasploit uh, commands. Uh, start MF, MSFDB, MySQL, that's a Kali Postgres. Uh, just tons of little quick commands and shortcuts. It's a great little field guide for just looking stuff up. Especially if you don't have access to like Google or the internet. You got to have the old school stuff, right? Uh, next up, this is a kangaroo. This is actually a Windows 10 uh, machine that uh, um, complements some stuff. Okay, sometimes you got to have multiple machines doing multiple things. That's a little portable Windows 10 full-featured PC that uh, I definitely like, and it's USB powered, so you don't even have to plug it in. Um, again, going small. Minimalist, you got a nice little uh, touch keyboard. It's a Bluetooth keyboard that actually does multiple devices. Uh, nice little keyboard that Microsoft has. Um, field notes, got to take notes while you're out doing stuff. And then a little packet here of actual little tools. And if you guys aren't familiar with Hack 5, you should look them up. Okay, what's in this? This is the essential tech gear so we'll go through what's in here this is a land turtle again you should look this stuff up this is a Wi-Fi pineapple pineapple nano edition okay very portable uh, this is a USB rubber ducky okay it's got a little SD card in there that you can inject code and stuff in and then this is a bash bunny Kind of the same concept of the rubber ducky, just a little more complex or different. And then over here, a bunch of the in smaller antennas. <clears throat> this is actually pretty cool. This is a USB powered switch or hub, I guess. Uh, so you can connect up to five different things through um, Ethernet. And I do have some Ethernet cables and stuff in here that we'll get to. Um, this here, now this is a Y, this is like a, a, a Y cable. What do they call Y cables? Okay, so this is a USB cable that you can take two different power sources into one device. So sometimes you need, you know, the standard USB is like 2.1, 2.4 amp out. Sometimes you got to have like those higher amps, 5, five volts, 5 amps, whatever you need to get uh, stuff to communicate or work right. Um, so you plug this into the one device, this into two different ports, and then you're going to channel in, you know, those two combined. So a little extra juice from that guy. Uh, these are some smaller, whoop, smaller range antennas. Again, mid-range. You saw the gigantic one. Here's the smaller ones. Just get a little more range. And then this is actually a little um, rubber ducky. Well, this is actually a little toolkit. So here's an extender. Sometimes you need a little room. So you can actually use the micro USB to USB for the rubber ducky if you had to do that on a, like an Android or who knows. And then this is a little SD card. You put an SD card in this, a little micro SD card, plug it in, and then you can change your payload uh, that you'll slide the SD card into the little rubber ducky. This comes apart. There's an SD card in there. Whatever you want to use, you can change that. Plug it into a computer, laptop, whatever, and change your payload, basically. Pretty cool stuff. All right. All right, let's continue on. And we've got... Okay, remember I mentioned that Ethernet. Here we go. Some Ethernet cables. These are nice little pull Ethernet reels. So you got some Ethernet cables on the go. Works really well with this guy. Again, this is like uh, this is the micro USB that powers this. 
So just plug this in, plug it into a power source, and you're going to have five different things if you had on a little private network. And then you just plug these in to this, like so. Wheel it out to your devices. Pretty good stuff. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh yeah, that's all for the main middle. So let's open this guy up, see what we got. Oh yeah, get the power. Uh, so I carry a couple different uh, power supplies. This is one of them. This actually came with one of the older pineapples. So this is the pineapple juice 1500. So I believe this is 15,000 milliamps or something. I don't remember. Uh, it's got two USB ports, output, 5 volt, 1 amp, 2.1 amp. So this is where that comes in handy. Where I mentioned you can do two different ones. So I'd plug in this and this. Combine those amps out into this. Okay. So this would provide juice to multiple things. It could provide juice to the hub or the switch. It could provide juice to the nano Wi-Fi. And, uh... You know whatever else you might need it to do and I do carry a couple other power banks uh, in my backpack so I don't just limit myself to this one I've actually got a couple others and then finally what else do we got oh yeah we get uh, the back here so what do we got back here oh yeah a lot of goodies okay so this guy so you say that uh, maybe you've got some sensitive data out of your uh, engagement we'll call it um, and you put it on a drive. This is a lockdown uh, so you can encrypt whatever little drives that you want to put in here. Okay, so you just put a code in here, connect it to a USB, and it's going to, as you can see here, encrypt whatever drives you put in here. So you can keep your data kind of sensitive, kind of protected. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, put that aside. Uh, we mentioned earlier about. This is a, I think this is a Mark IV. This is a, an earlier edition of the Wi-Fi Pineapple. A little, I don't want to say a little more powerful, but uh, definitely one that, um, you know, is used. And sometimes you can have a couple of these going, right? So that's an older edition, but it still works good. Uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is the latest and greatest Raspberry Pi, I believe. It's got a little uh, Wi-Fi adapter in there. It's also got Ethernet. It's another item that uh, you can put like a uh, Metasploit Distro on and use it as a hacking tool. And uh, again, plugging that into your little switch. You've got quite a little network of uh, power guys going here, especially if you got a laptop and then that kangaroo. Um, this is a good minimalist uh, I think it's like a 125 gig SSD. It's a portable SSD drive from SanDisk. So pretty darn cool. I don't know. I think it's just USB. Yeah, it's USB 3.0. So nice little portable SSD drive for very fast data backups and stuff. Um, SIM card toolkit. Can't, uh, you know, you never know when you're working with phones and stuff like that. Uh, Got to have it. Uh, an SD card reader. This is a USB 3.0 SD card reader. It's a nice little adapter. Gotta have it sometimes, right? Um, this is a Lightning. I think this is a Kingston Bolt. Uh, so it's like a 32 gig, I think, Lightning flash drive. You know, you never know when you're working with iOS devices as well. iPads, iPhones. Uh, Data Traveler 2000, this is uh, another Kingston, it's a 64 gig, but the thing about this is, again, we're talking about that sensitive data, once you actually have it, you can encrypt this, and then no one else is going to be able to get it from you, for at least without a price, right? And I think that, oh, oh we got one more pocket of the tactical bag here, I think. Here we go. Uh, got a voltage meter, kind of, so sometimes you got to keep track of what's producing what for voltage, make sure the voltages are correct. This is a Drock USB tester, uh, so definitely good a good device to have. And then, never know when you need it, this is a USB Ethernet adapter. Uh, sometimes you get things that you have to do, some USB Ethernet. You don't always have Ethernet available, so that guy comes in handy. Uh, a little USB light. 
So sometimes you're not working in the brightest of places and sometimes you need a little extra light on things, especially if you're reading a manual. This little guy works really good. See that? Just position him on this little stretch arm however you want and you can read your manuals and whatever in dark shady places. Uh, a Yubico key. If you don't know what these are, look them up. They're encryption devices, kind of. And they've got different uh, versions of them. This is the Nano uh, Neo. And then this is just the 4 Yubi key. So, don't use those all the time. Alright. Now, the last pocket. See, I lied. There's another one. Choose. What do we got up here? Um, one of the best little sounding speakers I've ever had so you know in case you want to listen to some tunes while you're working and there's not a lot of people around this anchor um, sound core nano is got phenomenal sound okay and it's Bluetooth or you can I think it's just Bluetooth uh, yeah just Bluetooth and then a mouse so I just carry an extra mouse because sometimes I have to have it for like the Raspberry Pi or the Kangaroo and what have you. But that is it. And again, um, in my other bag, I've got uh, like a Android phone, iPhone. You know, you got to have different things, different tools of the trade. Got an iPad, my laptop, and uh, Android tablet. So all that stuff comes in handy because you never know what all you're going to need and this is a mess but uh there you go guys and i'll try to have a lot of this in the links what a mess but that is your tactical pin tester hacking bag okay that's your field bag if you want any of this stuff uh this is all like really good things to have and use because there's a lot of power right here a lot of potential um of course, you need that laptop, really. But this this alone, I could probably go out without the laptop with this and have a pretty good setup. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share it. We'll try to produce more content like this. So if you have uh, anything you want to see or anything you want demoed here, leave it in the comments. And uh, I'll try to do maybe just some you know separate shows on just some of these gadgets. How this works, how a land turtle works, how the Wi-Fi pineapple works, how the bash money works, how the USB rubber ducky works. If you guys want to see any of that, you want to see the distro that's on the Raspberry Pi, just let me know. Um, and I'll try to get back to it and have that featured on the show. Again, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and as always guys, thanks for watching and have a good one. Thank you.